We are one month away from the biggest stage in WWE. We are four weeks away from WrestleMania. Hello everyone, I am Obi-Wan. Yes, that Obi-Wan. What a show we have for you tonight. We have two important updates on the structure of WrestleMania. The first one is that coming back to WrestleMania is the Money in the Bank ladder match over the next few weeks. Four people from Raw and four people from SmackDown will compete in quite and wait a minute here comes Cedric Alexander and a clothesline to the back of the head and again a kick to the back and again the performance by Alistair Black over at Velocity but as we say ladies and gentlemen this is a money in the bank qualifying match who will be the first one in the money in the bank ladder match at Wrestlemania and what an elbow by Cedric Alexander he is looking for revenge after being screwed out of the Intercontinental Championship a few weeks before Velocity. We are back live and ladies and gentlemen again this is a qualifying match to determine who will be the first entering into the Money in the Bank ladder match at Wrestlemania. And what a close line by Cedric Alexander as he goes into the cover referee in position 2 and a kick out. Again, the performance of Cedric Alexander at Velocity going up against the undisputed champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. We will see what the Rattlesnake has in store for us tonight. As Cedric now setting up, is he going for the Brain Buster or the Lumbar Check? Uh, he's going for that Brain Buster, and it connects. And what a move by Cedric. And Cedric going into the cover again, two. And again, another kick out. You know, you have to get the resiliency to Alistair Black. Oh, I think he's setting up for the brain buster yet again. And Cedric in perfect position. And turning into another brain buster. And just like that, Cedric back into the cover again. Two, three, and we have a winner. The first entrant in the Money in the Bank ladder match. At WrestleMania. What a way to kick things off on Monday Night Raw. The first entry in the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania, Cedric Alexander, in a measure of revenge. Finally getting the win over Aleister Black. As we will be right back with more of Monday Night Raw. We are back on Raw and the second update that I have for you and to the structure of WrestleMania is that we are also bringing back the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Debuting back in 1983 when the WWE was the WWF at the time. Princess Victoria and Velvet McIntyre were the first two to hold the belt. And the involvement of Desiree Peterson and the Glamour Girls. And the jumping bomb angels. While the history is very brief with the titles, we have the talent now and the women's division to bring it back. A part of wrestling history yet again. And again, look at the talent we have in the women's division. The Tribe, the Black Militia, the Hollywood Blondes, the LWO, the Terrors, the Undead. Not to mention the women talent we have over in NXT. At WrestleMania, you will have two women that will carry that history. But also, will make a name in the WWE Women's Championship as well. But what a match we have tonight. The Tribe and the Black Militia going at it. Again, this is Tornado Tag Team Rules. And this should be fun. But this should also get out of hand. 
And here we go, the tribe versus the Black Militia. Again, the referee calls for the bell, and here we go. Again, Alice Kimball with a close line taken down. Amaya Little Fox. And what a move by Young Thunder taken down. Shotgun Jenny Stone as Stone now. And what a forearm. Meanwhile, Amaya. Nice reverse by Alice Kimball. And going back and forth and dealing with this Tornado Tag Team match. Again, what a suplex by the Little One and Amaya. And Young Thunder. And what a right hand punch taking down Shotgun. Good elbow to the back of the head by Amaya. And Thunder now with multiple stops. And a kick to the midsection. Or as we say, a kick to the gut. And now a two on one advantage. Amaya Little Fox and Young Thunder. And what a. Is that. Alrighty then. Again, the tribe just taking advantage over Shotgun. And Alice Kimball getting back into the inside of the ring and into a release German suplex. And now a two on one situation with the Black Militia. And here we go, and this is getting out of hand real quick. Again, good reversal by Yamaya. And again, really trying to get the cobwebs out, but also getting out of that situation, dealing over on SmackDown with the Nightmare. As Young Thunder enters the ring again, good reversal by Shotgun Jenny Stone. And Jenny up into position into that electric chair. And what a move, and into the cover. No, no, not into the cover. Now into the cover. Make up your damn mind. Two, and Amaya breaks up the count. Again, Tornado Tag Team rules. And Amaya, multiple chops and punches. And down goes Shotgun Jenny Stone. And into the cover again. Two, and a kick out. Alice Campbell re entering for AK 47. And what a move, jeez. What a move by AK-47. As Kimball now setting up and going into the torture rack. And will this be all over for Young Thunder? And Thunder now, an elbow to the face. And now it's Shaka Jenny Stone into the driver. And again, Shaka can't capitalize, but again going back into the cover. And Young Thunder again with the breakup. And Stone now, and into the Hurricane Rana, and what a move by Shotgun Jenny Stone. And again, the advantage goes back to the Black Militia. And again, Shotgun Jenny Stone, with multiple knees to the face, oh, gee. And again, the Militia in complete control, and here comes Shotgun Jenny Stone. And what a super kick. Again, it's not a lights out super kick. I mean, again, that, that would knock your ass out. But still, reversal we'll by Amaya Little Fox. Trying to go for a drop kick and shotgun gets out the way. Young Thunder trying to go for a big boot and a close line to the back of the head. And out goes Amaya Little Fox with that knee to the face by shotgun Jenny Stone. And so we have Amaya Little Fox. With Shaka Jenny Stone, nice scoop slam by Little Fox. And again, Kimball going into the cover. Two. And the kick out again. And again, Amaya setting her sights back on Shotgun. And into the DDT. And a clothesline take it down, Young Thunder. And a jumping clothesline. And again, Amaya with another DDT on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside of the ring, Alice Kimball. And what a right hand punch and what a knockout shot. And again, it's all been Alice Kimball in the inside of the ring. Nice one first by Jenny Stone. And again, setting up for that driver again in position. And Alice Kimball 
into the torture rack yet again. And will this be all over for Young Thunder? And again, in that torture rack. And Kimball just let her go. And Kimball into the cover too. And again another kick out. And what a match it has been. And what a move connected with that Claymore kick. And Young Thunder has been knocked out as the Black Militia picks up the victory. Will the Black Militia go to WrestleMania and win the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship? As we will be right back with more of Monday Night Raw. And again, another huge ovation for Kofi Kingston. Last night at Velocity, he had Adam Cole beat for the Intercontinental Championship. And, well, let's, let's figure it out in a, in a few moments. A returning Pete Dunn last night as we take a look back to Velocity. It was Pete Dunn making his debut back on WWE programming and costing Kofi Kingston the Intercontinental Championship. Which begs the question and it goes all the way back to January. Is Pete Dunn the newest member of the Undisputed Era? Because again... Adam Cole hit the man in the face with a sledgehammer at the Royal Rumble. And you mean to tell me? Man. Oh, well, nonetheless, still good to see Pete Dunne back in action. And even more, more is on the line tonight. As this is the second match to qualify for the Money in the Bank. Kofi Kingston and Pete Dunne. And what a match. This is going to be as the referee calls for the bell. And here we go. Again, we have Cedric Alexander winning over Aleister Black at the beginning of the night to be the first member in the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania. As Pete Dunne now setting up in position. And what a moving into the arm bar. And will Kofi Kingston tap out? And Kofi getting out the way. Wait a minute. Pete Dunne's not done with you just yet. And again, ranking the arm in the hand back. And Kofi Kingston into the Hurricane Rana. Good move. And the kick to the face. Taking Pete Dunne out. And again, attacking the leg now. Even though the finisher is to the head, but that's kind of besides the point. Good job, Breaker, getting out of that situation. And what a big boot ticking down. Kofi rolls out the way, but Pete Dunn back into the grapple. And again, just attacking the leg. And into the dragon screw. And Kofi Kingston, I'm not selling for you, man. And the clothesline over the top rope. And apparently this is no disqualification. Thank you. Thank you, referee, for, for actually telling me that. What a mess. Kick to the gut by Kofi Kingston. As Pete Dunne now ticking down with another arm bar. That's fantastic. And again, just manipulation of body joints. Another kick to the midsection. 
connects with a drop kick by Kofi Kingston. As Kingston now picks Pete Dunne back up and throws him back into the inside of the ring. Nice knife edge chop taking down Pete Dunne and a soccer kick to the back. As Kofi now goes into the cover one and just a one count. And we will see more qualifying matches over on SmackDown. And into the bitter end. And it is all said and done as Pete Dunne moves on to the second and the Money in the Bank match and the kick out. Again, the resiliency of Kofi Kingston. And again, taking a bite out of crime. Or out of time. Maybe just a bite. And again, Pete Dunne in complete control of the match right now. And what a kick to the face. And again, just body manipulation by Pete Dunne. And again, going back to the arm, to the hand. And again, double knees to the back of Kofi Kingston. And again, this is going to get out of hand. This is going to get very bad, very fast. As Pete Dunne, again, in complete control. Uh, Pete, Pete, I, I think you need to end this match. And again, going back to the arm, going back to the hand. And again, another pull back on the arm. And again, a former Intercontinental Champion and Pete Dunne. And so is Kofi Kingston as Kofi rolls to the outside. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're just, Kofi's just looking at Pete Dunne. Dare I say, menacingly. And Kofi Kingston now. And what a move by Kofi Kingston with that corkscrew. Neckbreaker. And here comes the boom drop. And it connects. And Kofi now sending up for... His finisher, the Trouble in Paradise. And Kofi in complete position and into the Trouble in Paradise. If Kofi Kingston going into the cover, will he be the second person in the Money in the Bank ladder match? Yes, he is. As the referee calls for the bell, and what a match between two stars and Kofi Kingston. Fantastic match between Kingston and Pete Dunne as we will be right back with your main event. I don't know what to say because this guy keeps escaping with the Intercontinental Championship. Again, last night, great match between him and Kofi Kingston, but it was Pete Dunne again that cost Kofi Kingston the Intercontinental Championship. And you have to ask again, is Pete Dunne the newest member of the Undisputed Era? But more importantly, will the Intercontinental Championship be defended at WrestleMania. We haven't seen the IC belt being at a WrestleMania, being represented. Hopefully, Adam Cole can change that at WrestleMania. And what it really has been. We had two qualifying matches for the Money in the Bank ladder match. We had the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship being reborn at WrestleMania. And of course, the Undisputed Champion.
and what a hard-fought victory the Texas Rattlesnake had last night at Velocity defending against Alistair Black with Diesel in his corner. Again, I was a little bit surprised that Diesel didn't get involved. And in the set in stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Diesel, the Royal Rumble winner at WrestleMania. And again, look at this crowd. Look at this ovation. And so, here we go. This is your main event of the evening. Intercontinental Champion versus Undisputed Champion as the referee calls for the bell. And here we go. Right hand shot starting up with Steve Austin. Right hand punch to the back. And then knee to the gut. Trying to go for a close line, but Adam Cole counters. And here comes Adam Cole. And again, the knee to the back. Taking down the champ. And what a forum. And Adam Cole now is taking complete control of the match in the early going. Going head first into the turnbuckle. Again, these two have fought before back in October for the Undisputed Championship. Where Stone Cold Steve Austin defends. And again, multiple kicks to the gut. As Cole now throws Austin. Trying to go for a clothesline. Good counter. And what a move by Adam Cole. And going straight into the cover. Will we see a different outcome this time? As Adam Cole taking complete control over Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nice counter by Austin. As Austin connects with the backbreaker. Again, maybe the momentum has changed for the Undisputed Champion, but Adam Cole now. And again, going into that scoop slam as Cole retakes the advantage. And again, what a jawbreaker. And again, it's just been all Adam Cole in the early going. And again, it might be game, set, match. And into the Brain Buster. And what a move by Adam Cole. And it's only a matter of time setting up for that last shot. As Cole now in position. And here comes the Intercontinental Champion. And the last call connects. And that is all over. So referee goes into the cover. Two. And the kick out. And the match continues. Again, the resiliency by the Undisputed Champion. As Adam Cole now. Climbing up on the turnbuckle. What's he going to do? Trying to go with a big body splash. And it connects. And again. Adam Cole going back into the cover. And again a late. Late one count. And Cole now. Trying to go for a German suplex. Good counter by Austin. And connects with a clothesline. Getting a stomp to the face. Then a knee to the face. Too bad it wasn't running unlike Aleister Black last night. And into the stunner. And what a stunner by the undisputed champion. As Austin goes into the cover. Referee, what the hell are you doing? Two. And a kick out. One of these days, referee. One of these days. I'm going to kick you in your face. As Austin now setting up. Connects with the stunner again. That's stunner number two. And referee going back into cover. Two. And again another kick out. And what a main event we have ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow Smackdown. More qualifying matches for the money in the bank. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake. Third close line connects. And what a counter by the Intercontinental Champion. It's Cole now. Throws Austin into the turnbuckle. Good counter by Austin. And again, what a right hand punch. As Austin now picks Adam Cole up. Sets him up on the top turnbuckle. And what's Austin doing? And what an arm drag. Again, we haven't seen that in forever as Austin... The ringmaster setting up for stunner number three. And it connects. And then it's all over as Austin goes into the cover again. Two. Three. And Steve Austin has won this match. And again, no interference by 
the Royal Rumble winner. As the stunner loses its value, I am Obi One. We will see you tomorrow for SmackDown. Again, more qualifying matches for the Money in the Bank ladder match and more women's tag team action in hopes of seeing who will be the team and the contenders at WrestleMania for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships.